Fire tablets have always been an amazing value. You get a full-fledged multimedia machine for as little as $60, but there are some major drawbacks too. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you five things that you should do with your fire tablet to get the most out of this budget tablet. Number five, system navigation. By default, you'll be set up with a three button navigation system on your Fire tablet. And if you're a classic Android person, you might prefer that layout. But if you want something a little more modern, go into settings, then device options, then system navigation, and you have two options there. You can select gesture navigation or three button navigation. When you switch to gesture, you have the modern Android slash iPhone way of navigating the Fire tablet now. Swipe up from the bottom, hold it to see recent applications. It's a navigation you're probably used to with your smartphone and now it'll make your Fire tablet at least feel a little bit more modern instead of that three button layout, unless you like that. Number four, child profiles. There's a good chance you're handing over this tablet to your kids every once in a while. And when you do, you may not want them to have access to everything on your tablet. Fortunately, Amazon makes it really easy to add a child profile. You can swipe down from the top, click that little man icon there, and then click new user. This will take you to the profiles and family library. And if you scroll down, you can add a child profile. You can add their name, date of birth, and it will take you to their very own profile. You can also subscribe to the Amazon Kids Plus, which provides a lot of children-friendly content for about $5.99 a month. But if not, you can always choose which applications you want to grant them access to. You can filter websites and kind of restrict what you want to restrict on this tablet. And best of all, they won't have access to all your information on your profile. Number three is removing recommendations. One of the major drawbacks with Fire tablets are all the ads that continue to pop up everywhere. And that's even true on your home screen. Well, there's a way to remove some of them and at least make your home screen a little less cluttered. Go into your settings, then apps and notifications, then Amazon app settings. And you should see there home screens. Click that and you'll find recommendations and continue and discover now. If you click those to off, that row that used to be on top of your home screen right above those applications is gone. When having recommendations on, it would just throw up random Amazon apps or Amazon recommended applications, almost like an ad, and continue and discover would just put up any application Amazon thought you wanted to continue using. I just prefer to have a cleaner look and just having the applications there instead of that recommended section right on top just gives me that cleaner look on this tablet. It gives me a little bit more control of this very controlled home screen that Amazon gives you. Number two is developer options. Now this option really gives you some more features to play around with on your Amazon Fire tablet, but there's some things to keep in mind. You should be careful on some of the settings that you change here because you can really drastically change how your Amazon tablet works. But if you're into kind of tweaking and making this tablet your own, go into settings, then into device options, then about Fire Tablet, and you're gonna start clicking that serial number until you start seeing this developer options notification come up. And once you click it enough times, it will grant you those options to go into. Then if you go back, you'll see there developer options at the bottom, click that, then click to on. And now you have so many settings that you can go in and change. But one setting I do like is all the way at the bottom, which enables free form window. And it allows you to use any of your applications in a free form window. Something you don't normally have on your Fire tablets. This allows you to resize the window, move it around, and it just takes multitasking to another level on your Fire tablet. If you're into testing out beta features, check it out because it's pretty interesting. And number one is installing the Google Play Store. So this is nothing new. I've been installing the Google Play Store on my Fire tablets for years now. And I think the number one best thing you can do with your Fire tablet is installing the Google Play Store. Because out of the box, you're missing all of Google's applications. There's no YouTube, there's no Gmail, there's no Chrome, 
but by installing the Google Play Store, you can get all of those Android applications right on your Fire tablet. I made a whole video on how to install the Google Play Store and it goes step by step on what you need to do and what you need to download. I'll make sure to link that video to this one and I'll also leave it in the description so you can check it out for yourself. But I've never had any issues installing the Google Play Store on my tablets and I think having access to all those applications that you love that are available on other Android tablets just makes the whole experience with the Fire Tablet even better. And those are five things that I make sure to change on my Fire Tablet every time I purchase one. But let me know what you think. What are some of the things that you change on your Fire Tablets to improve the whole experience? Let me know with the comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos and I'll see you on the next one.